So now after the image slider, we will start displaying the user information. First we will add some space and then we will add a comment. First we will uh, display the information related to the user personal information like name and all this information which we have. So a size box of height 30. Then we will display the title alignment and the alignment for this title will be alignment dot top left and using the text widget let's add that title so it will be personal info apply some style on it color white font size 22 and font weight will be bold after the align we will add a divider that is a horizontal line color for this will be colors dot white the thickness of this will be 2 and it will look like it will look like this as you can see and then after the divider this is our personal info title and then after it we will have personal info table data so we can add a container color will be colors dot black apply padding from all side 20 and then child table widget first we will add as you know table has a row so we will have in a row we will have the name and in front of it name title and then in front of the name title we will display the name value which is coming from the database which is inside the variable we have now so what we can do we can add a table row and table row is also multi children widget so we can say first we will add the title that is const text widget name okay and apply this text style on it so this will be the title and after title we will display the name value so text widget and then name as you know which is a variable which contains the value coming from the database for the name and apply some text style on it so this is the value which we display inside this text widget and this will be the title for that name now inside a table widget or inside a table row widget you can't add a size box okay if you want to add let's say a size box of height something in order to add some space it will give you error instead of it you know if you want to add some space you can add basically uh, an extra table row so I can simply say extra row and what I mean is we can say const table row and for we will add some empty text widget so first text widget and second text widget it will just add an extra row okay just for spacing so we can do it like this and make sure to add double quotes in it so first you know that this table row is for name this is extra row and now for the time saving we will copy this paste it down after the extra row and this one will be for displaying age so we can say age age so now if I show you how it looks then you will understand like this as you can see name then age these are the titles and the value it is not showing because as you know that when we come to this page 
we have to pass the user ID to it so you know that when the user click on this button we come here okay so on clicking this button we have to pass this user ID to it as well that is which user profile information you are going to view so for that purpose in here on our home screen where we call our page which is user detail screen so you can say user ID colon and the current user ID we have to pass so we can simply say Firebase or dot instance current user dot UID and now you have to click on this play button okay here is going to install the app on our phone so now if you come back here to the user detail screen of course now we will check so now if I click on this profile icon it is still not showing because we have an error if you click on this run and you check out then it says type null is not a subtype string if you click here on this user detail or screen it is showing the error on this phone number the reason for this is as I told you we have to use the same key names which we have in the database while retrieving the information so for example the error it is showing here which simply means we have to check the phone number in the database the phone number is saved by the key name phone number which is phone no okay by this key name it is saved in the database however by mistake here we just write number that's why we are getting error for that so I told you guys to please use the same key names earlier okay that is for name it is name for edge it is edge for phone number it is not number it is phone num as you can see here okay it is phone num for number and o means number okay so the same key name so by this key name we retrieve the phone number value and we assign it to the phone number variable so now let's install the app again on our phone and you already see the result it automatically hot restarts if you come here now you will see that John Parker is the name age is 28 and let's start implementing the other information and you see here uh, this is basically an extra row space which we added for example if you comment out this extra row then the space will be finished from there as you see it will look like this now okay so it is totally up to you the extra space will look good so that's why we add this extra table row okay so after age let's copy paste this after age you know we have phone number to display and also you know that first we display the name extra row age then extra row then phone number so we can say phone phone number will be the title the value of which is inside the variable phone number now if you see it looks like this okay now let's do it for the rest of the other So up to seeking you know that we have the personal information of user which look like this now after the personal information comes the let's just quickly minimize this so after the personal info and personal info table data comes the number of appearance so we can say appearance title and in the same way just like we display the personal info title we will have 
first some space then a line appeared in title and then the divider which will look like this and then of course the appearance table data so in the same way we can add first a container add color and padding to it and guys one thing you already know the theme of our entire app is already black so there is no need to specify the color for the container same here for the personal info title uh, container where info table data there is no need to display add this color specifically okay as the entire uh, theme or you can say background color of our app is already black okay then child table widget you know it is a multi children widget so first we will add our first table row in the appearance table data which is basically the height and some extra row let's see it will look like this and then let's do it for the other ones so after the height we have weight and then of course we have the extra row and then in the appearance one more data we have which is the body type we have to display so this is the body type now let's check how it looks so hot restart let's come back here and here you can see that so now after the appearance we have the lifestyle so size box 30 align title and then a divider which will look like this and after the lifestyle title you know that we have to now display the table data for it so first of all we have the first one which is drink then extra row after that drink extra row and then after that we have the smoke extra row and then after this we have the martial status extra row then we have the have children extra row and then we have the number of children and then an extra row then profession extra row then employment status extra row and then income extra row then the living situation and an extra row then willing to relocate extra row and then the last row is the looking for okay so if we check it is lifestyle so this is all about the lifestyle information of a user now after the lifestyle uh, we have the uh, background and culture values so let's start work on that first let me minimize this quickly this was our lifestyle table data so now background culture will use title so size box align title 
and a divider which will look like this after this title we have the background culture values data that is table data So inside the background cultural value table data, the first table row we have is the nationality, an extra row. Then we have education, an extra row. Then we have language spoken, extra row. Then we have religion, table row, and then an extra row. Then we have the last one which is ethnicity of the user. So ethnicity, religion, language spoken, education and nationality. This is all about the background cultural values table data. Now if we check out, so it look like this. So this is all about the user profile as you can see here